my name is Adair and I'm from upstate New York. Right now I am doing the Communication Foundation School. It's a school in which we learn the different aspects of media and storytelling through, through video or photography or through design layout and things like that. So it's taking different forms of communication and learning how to effectively communicate the message God has put on our hearts. Lauren is the founder of Youth with a Mission, and the book of uh, Is That Really You, God, is the story of the history of YWAM. So it starts really in the 1960s and kind of ends in the 1980s, and it depicts um, how Youth with a Mission began, the struggles and the triumphs, and a little bit on where we're at now. So it was a Tuesday morning, and Lainey was presenting on uh, in the Creative Roundtable, and she was talking about the ebook how, and how she's making an ebook version of "Is That Really You, God?" And so during her time of processing and asking her questions, giving feedback, I heard someone say "coffee table book," and when I heard that, all of a sudden this image popped into my head, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, what if we made a coffee table book of Is That Really You, God?" The first step I realized was that, okay. I actually need to read the book, Is That Really You, God? Um, and so I felt obviously that conviction because how am I going to create something and birth this idea if I haven't even read what I'm writing about? And so people need to know about this book. People need to read this book and understand who, who Lauren and Darlene are first that helped pioneer this organization, you need to understand how God has been so faithful and, and so redeeming through this process. I am so proud of my team and that none of us have created a book before. That's what sets our team apart. We're, we're really sensitive to hearing God and to, to knowing where we're at. There are so many parts in the body, but it's coming together as one that we're able to do do something. I would say my favorite part uh, as working as a team on this book is in a sense like how quick we are to like forgive one another and how quick we are to like lay down like our pride like lay down like our expectations of this book. This whole book is about simple obedience and faith and you know in a sense like from Lauren's story it's our story as well. The first time that Adair talked to me about this project I realized that I haven't even read Is That Really You, God? And so from there, I was really excited about designing this project because I love to make things come alive. So when you, when you look in the Bible, um, in Deuteronomy, for example, it's a book of remembrance. And, and so in the same way, I feel like Is That Really You, God? is going to be a book of remembrance. And so as I'm designing it, I realize how um, important it is to read this book and um, how powerful it is to know where we come from and without all these people out there we wouldn't be able to study here in this university. I think it can work in a way that it'll help people understand their history and the values of YWAM and where, and where it all started and it'll also help maybe attract people to this organization and ultimately God.